Hey everyone, so I just wanted to go live for a few seconds to let everyone who hasn't been following um, Count Dankula's case know what happened. So, a while back, Count Dankula made a video uh, where he taught his pack to make a Nazi salute. And since then, the man has been arrested, dragged through courts, and today a final decision was made. And that decision um, that the court reached was that he is guilty of a hate crime. Now, the way that Anglo-American courts work is that they are based on precedent. And if this man was found guilty for making a joke, that means that when future prosecutions take place, people can also be found guilty for making a joke. Now, we don't know where this boundary will be drawn. So you can imagine that, for example, a comedian in, in two or three years who is making a joke about obesity will also be found guilty of a hate crime because somebody is offended. Now, it doesn't matter if you thought that the joke was distasteful, that the joke was rude, that the joke was insensitive, that, that it should have never been said. It doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, we have to allow people to say, you know, what they want to say. I mean, where are we drawing a boundary? And so what it means now is that the courts have interpreted, the courts, the courts have interpreted a hate crime as anything that is racially insensitive. And where what racially insensitive means is not going to be defining the obiter dicta of the of the um, sentence. Obiter dicta is the part um, of the sentence um, where the judge essentially explains what he means by certain words, what he means by the precedent that he is set, uh, setting. They will not define the word hate crime specifically, and they will not define um, where this law will be applied in future cases. And so. What this means for, for the future of uh, free speech in the UK is that anyone can be prosecuted. Now imagine that Tommy Robinson will be sent to court. I, I can imagine that happening very soon, that Tommy will, will be prosecuted, that other people who are involved um, in, in saying things that don't match mainstream opinion, they're going to be sent to prison as well. Now. The courts haven't yet said, we're still waiting for the verdict in terms of if he's going to go to prison, if he's going to um, have to pay a fine, if he's going to have to do some social, social work, it doesn't matter. What matters is that as a matter of fact, he has actually been found guilty, that courts established that saying certain things in this country, things that are, in quotations, racially insensitive, will be a hate crime. And... You know, it's one thing when somebody is using racial slurs, when somebody is is abusing other people, but it's a different thing when somebody is making a video that was comedic and in that video says things like, this was made for comedic purposes. This is not made to offend anyone. And I have to say that being so public and open with my opinions and not being a British citizen really worries me because since I study law in this country, it's very likely that when I leave for holidays and want to come back, I might not be allowed in here. I might be I might be told that because you know Tommy Robinson, because you've spoken um, in defense of Count Dankula, you're not going to be allowed to be here. And it is very stressful and worrying knowing that it is so easy for governments and for the establishment to silence you. Now, why do they want to silence you guys? Because it fits with their narrative. Theresa May wants to control you. The, the establishment, the political, the people who, who have um, political power want to be able to control your lives, want to be able to control what you're allowed to say. So right now we might be silencing people like Count Dankula, but very, very soon we might be silencing people who are criticizing Theresa May. Imagine saying, oh, I think she's a shitty prime minister, and then being sent to prison because you offended her. I mean, this is the path that we are onto. This is like Orwell's 1984. I'm not even joking. The, guys, we, we all have to wake up and realize that we are freedoms. Such fundamental freedoms are being stripped away. People really need to go on social media, start tweeting at, at Parliament, start, start organizing protests, doing whatever we can, because this is horribly worrying, horribly worrying, the situation that we are finding ourselves in. And the reasons that the, the government and the elites are going farther with, um, 
with this agenda that the left is setting is again because it suits what they want. They want to control you and that you have to remember. I will be back. I will let you guys know um, what decisions, what, what the verdict is that the courts arrived at. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you share this video just to spread awareness about what's happening. And please, the least you can do, at least tweet at Count Dankula to let him know that you support him and that you know you respect his freedom of speech. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.